The 1987 cartoon was the most popular show about the Ninja Turtles, but it relied too heavily on Shredder and Krang as the main antagonists. But in its last two seasons, in an attempt to shake things up, a new antagonist was introduced that would go into a downward spiral into insanity. Today I will be talking about the Lord Dreg of the 1987 cartoon. The character was created, along with Carter, as a recommendation from CBS executives to refresh the show and compete against other cartoons of the time, like X-Men the Animated Series. Lord Dreg was shaped by writers Mark Edens, Bob Forward, and David Wise, and then by Jeffrey Scott during the final season. He was voiced by legendary actor Tony Jay. If you want to learn more about what was happening behind the scenes with these final two seasons, check out the video I made about Carter. Lord Drag debuted in the first episode of the ninth season. He was a supreme warlord of the Seven Galaxies who was escaping the Galactic Patrol. By the time he arrived near Earth, he had discovered Earth, a planet full of resources. Considering he was already halfway across the universe, this was his opportunity to establish a new base of power. He was aboard a ship, the Dregnaught, with his second-in-command, High Tech, and his army known as the Techno Gang. They quickly realized that Earth was full of gold, an essential resource to replace the damaged shielding on the ship's weapon system. He sent the Techno Gang to Earth to steal some gold, but they were stopped by the Ninja Turtles with the assistance of Carter. The Techno Gang and High Tech looked like insects. This gave the impression that Lord Dreg was an insectoid like his 2012 counterpart and Maligna from the Archie comics. But in this version, it was unclear if Lord Dreg was an insectoid. He looks a little bit like an insect, but he also looks very alien anyway. Lord Dreg tried to make his move to take over Earth, but was stopped by Carter and the Turtles. But this is where the show went in new directions. Instead of trying over and over like Shredder and Krang before, Lord Dreg made contact with humanity exchanging technology to purify polluted water in exchange for a base of operations. He presented himself as Dreg, saying his planet was destroyed long ago by greed and war, and he was willing to save this planet from a similar fate. The city gave him a skyscraper he renamed as Dreg Tower, but they didn't know Dreg was simply trying to convert this tower into a fortress. Carter pretended to join Dreg to capture the turtles, this was all an elaborate plan to get the turtles inside the building, but it also gave Dreg the false safety that he could simply convince his enemies to join his cause. The turtles rejected him and ruined his plans for the tower. It was around this time that April made it her goal to expose Lord Dreg to the media as a conqueror. Dreg's next plan was to build a stasis relay function that would kill all communications on Earth. This would have allowed him to control the world's defense systems. To do this, he volunteered to repair the Skysat, a space station that had been sitting in space since its power system went down. Dreg succeeded at taking control of communications and all defense systems. He communicated with Earth, saying that his ship was impervious to this attack and he would take control of all communications until the cause was found. When the turtles destroyed the stasis relay function and the space station, Lord Dreg communicated with Earth again blaming the turtles for the hijacking. This made people on Earth think he was the real hero. So far, the turtles were mostly seen as heroes, despite rarely being seen. But having Dreg accusing them of being terrorists made their public appearances more difficult. And rightfully so. They were going through secondary mutations that made them look and act like monsters. Dreg tried different plans to conquer humanity swiftly but the turtles were there to stop his plans. However, he noticed that the turtles' mutations were unstable, yet very strong. Inspired to use the same mutation on his techno gang to make them invincible, he captured two turtles to study them. While he managed to duplicate the mutagen, the turtles stopped his machinations. But this wouldn't be the end of Lord Dreg's fascination with the mutagen. His next plan was to create a star shield, According to him, it was a defense platform to safeguard the planet against an incoming wage of alien invaders. April and the Turtles filmed him incriminating himself and tried to make news stations broadcast it. But stations rejected the tape, assuming it was fake, with very little respect for April, as she was now associated with known terrorists. 
their only other chance to expose Dreg was to hijack an antenna, but the tape was then destroyed by a replica of Carter. This was a time-traveling adventure that took the Turtles to the far future of 2015, where they witnessed that, thanks to that replica of Carter, Dreg was able to conquer Earth. After their return to the present, they prevented that future. Dreg's fleet was scattered throughout the galaxy, which meant he had to be very smart whenever he tried to conquer Earth. But after finding the legendary Vortex Crystal, he would be able to warp space and reunite his armada to lay siege to the planet. Knowing that he needed a massive infusion of power to activate the crystal, he offered it to the humans to revitalize a power plant under the false promise of unlimited energy. April was able to finally get Dreg on tape incriminating himself, but things took a weird twist when the donation ceremony was interrupted by Doomquest, a competing warlord from the Dark Realm looking for the crystal. The turtles had the crystal in their hands for a little bit, and they discovered that it was the key to reversing their secondary mutations. Doomquest got a hold of it and started unleashing the Dark Realm onto our world. It was only a matter of time until that dimension replaced ours. With Lord Dreg and Doomquest obsessed with the Vortex Crystal, the Turtles had no choice but to destroy it. This reversed the invasion and made Dreg flee Earth. To end his menace, April convinced Channel 8 to run the tape on TV, and that was the end of Lord Dreg's charade. There were changes behind the scenes between the 9th and 10th seasons. One that I didn't mention in the Carter video was that Rob Paulson left the show. He was voicing Raphael, but he also voiced Lord Dreg's second-in-command, High Tech. As a result, High Tech was replaced by a new character, Mung, voiced by Cam Clark, and the Techno Gang was replaced by the Batman. The in-story explanation for this change was that High Tech detected traces of the Vortex Crystal on Earth. Dreg wanted to recreate another crystal from those fragments to finally complete a Vortex Transporter basically a transmat device to make him able to teletransport. Hitech wasn't as valuable as another of Dreg's minions, Mung. He introduced computerized microbots that could clone anything. Seeing Hitech was of no use anymore, Dreg sent him to the border of the galaxy to collect data for a few centuries. He's probably still there. The microbots stole one of the fragments that were in possession of the turtles. They were using those to cure the secondary mutations, but extracting one of the fragments created a different outcome for Leonardo. He was now more dangerous than before. After a failed mission, Dreg got a sample of Leonardo's turtle shell. After investigating the DNA, he planned to mutate the turtles out of existence with the help of plutonium. He kidnapped Leo and apparently suppressed his mutation, but simultaneously he made him into a nuclear time bomb. The turtles stole some chemicals from Dreg's ship and prevented the explosion. However, they weren't aware that Dreg had prepped them for his next plan. Mung mentioned the existence of Shredder and Krang to Lord Dreg, and he saw they could be useful for his plans. He arranged for them to be transported to Earth and offered them to join him. Shredder and Krang saw through his lies and escaped, but this was only a temporary setback for Dreg, who was able to capture the turtles, April, Prang, and Shredder. He explained his plans to extract the mutagen out of the turtles and absorb their mental energy. That way, he would become the universe's most powerful and intelligent mutant. This mental energy draining included Shredder and Krang. Doing this would also extract the life energy, which meant that it was only a matter of time until they died. Shredder disconnected himself from the machines, and at the right time, escaped with Krang and a very important ship. But with Krang's intelligence, Dreg devised a new plan to transport a piece of the sun into the heart of every capital city, and then simply wait for humanity to beg him to take over the planet. And if they decided to refuse, he would simply turn the Earth into another sun. Yeah, things don't make much sense at this point, but let's imagine they do, okay? Meanwhile, Shredder saves Krang's life with a life transfusion and the Turtles would get one from their past selves thanks to another time-traveling plot device. Shredder and Krang fooled Dreg into taking back a bogus chip that would allow him to do the thingy with the sun pieces, but it was all a trap to create a wormhole instead. During the battle, Donatello changed the coordinates in the Vortex Transporter to move a piece of the sun inside the Dreadnought instead. 
And after getting their turtle power back from Dreg, they sent all their enemies somewhere else in the galaxy. After this adventure, Dreg became increasingly obsessed with the turtles. But after each failure, he ended up in a worse place than before. Conquering Earth was no longer priority, and Dreg started using all of his resources in his fight against the turtles, despite the warnings of Mung. He recruited five of the most powerful mercenaries in the galaxy that lasted more than 90 seconds fighting the turtles. With the help of the microbots, he then created the Morphogenesis exoskeleton to absorb the five warriors' powers into himself. This made him powerful and skillful, and among his new abilities, he was able to get bigger than his adversaries. He fought the turtles by himself, proving to be too powerful. The turtles had to escape, and inspired by the words of Splinter, they devised a new plan to rescue Krang's android body from the abandoned Technodrome in Dimension X and use it against Dreg. Dreg took April as bait for the turtles, so Leo and Raph went to a rescue, as Mikey and Donnie went to the Technodrome. After rescuing April, Leo and Raph led Dreg into a junkyard, where they almost died crushed inside the turtle van. Mikey and Donnie returned from Dimension X with Krang's android body. They used its inbuilt feature of getting bigger to be able to fight and immobilize Dreg. But there was a catch. Krang's android body wouldn't be able to stay big for long, and it would eventually crash onto itself, creating a nuclear explosion. At the right time, they jumped from the body and sent the android and Dreg through a portal, where Lord Dreg was probably killed by the explosion. And with his death, the Turtles also proved to Master Splinter that they were experienced enough to be his equal. That was the end of the show. Oddly enough, the characters from the last three seasons didn't get action figures made by Playmates. So it's up to NECA to produce a Lord Dreg figure. There was, of course, a Lord Dreg action figure made by Playmates for the 2012 version of the character. This other version was an insectoid, but that's a story for another video. Do you think Dreg was a suitable replacement for Shredder? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.